let's talk about arsenic, another very famous poison. So, arsenic is an element on the periodic table, atomic number 33. Can be found naturally in many places. Um, seafood particularly has a significant amount of arsenic in it, not enough to cause any long-term health problems that we know of. Potentially carcinogenic, but nothing proven yet as far as I'm aware. So how arsenic works, it is a pretty small molecule and it can just pretty easily just slip through the cell membrane because it's small and doesn't have a sig very significant charge so, it charge, so it can just get on in there and cause all sorts of damage to the cell. Depending on the individual and depending on the amount and depending on the type of cell, it can do different things, but basically it can just wreak havoc in different ways. It can mess with concentrations, with charges. Um, some sources say it can bind to enzymes and cause problems because you very much need your enzymes. They are very important. Basically, arsenic just enters your cell and does whatever the fuck it wants, and you quite often die from it kind of the main thing it does. It just interferes with cellular respiration, which causes a lot of problems. I'm not going to go into cellular respiration because that's boring. Symptoms of arsenic poisoning includes things like nausea, vomiting, muscle and stomach cramps, just feeling kind of gross. It also causes numbness and tingling in your extremities, so like fingers and toes that Again, it's not a good time. Eventually, your muscles cramp up and you die. What's interesting is arsenic was very popular in the Victorian era for many things. It was and still is used as an insecticide and rodenticide, so kill bugs and rodents, but it was also used for things that are not that. So this is Paris green. It is a very nice green pigment made with arsenic compounds, and it was used in fucking everything. It was used in clothes, it was used in paint, it was used in wallpapers, it was used in, like, book pigment, like, illustrations, ev absolutely everything. It's called Paris green or emerald green because it does kind of look like emeralds. And as you may have guessed, from putting arsenic in absolutely everything, there were health complications because people in, were in very close proximity to arsenic and they started dying. So eventually Paris Green was banned and there were some like duplicates and whatever made without arsenic because health reasons, I guess. It was, however, also very popular in cosmetics, particularly complexion and face whitening powder and cream for women. Yay us. Because safe arsenic complexion wafers are a thing that you should be using, sold by druggists everywhere. Yeah, I can imagine it would get rid of problems with your skin as well as problems with your life because you will no longer be alive after a while. And, of course, it was also used for more basic things like murder, but, yeah, putting putting arsenic on your face, that's a grand idea. Get some, you know, belladonna eye drops and arsenic face powder, and you are good to go. Put on your dress dyed with Paris green. There is absolutely nothing that could go wrong. Fortunately, arsenic is no longer in use as cosmetics, and, but can still be found in rodenticide, as well as just some naturally occurring things like seafood and sometimes water. Poisons. Fun. Also, I think Paris Green is one of my new favorite shades, of, one, one of my new favorite colors. It is 10 out of 10.